What's up, B2? Capital G here. Got a couple of very just bizarre duels for you guys to check out. Games may be thrown and low tier decks may rise up. So we got Cyber Dragons versus True Draco. I would imagine that, um, like, I think that True Draco should be favored in this matchup because Cyber Dragons generally want to blind second and take advantage of their contact fusions, whether it be against like Machine Monsters, Orcus, Sky Strikers, or just general extra deck monsters and you know true draco don't play either of those so there's really no inherent advantage when it, when you're talking about like going second plus now that solemn judgment is at three even like the blind second evenly matches are a lot less reliable and um you know draco opened up with card of demise and drew two more card of demises so <laughs> basically if you're playing draco here long as you can get through the first turn you should beat any deck in Yu-Gi-Oh because you're gonna be drawing a bunch of you're gonna be drawing like four cards for the foreseeable uh, future for the next couple of turns and uh the twin twister is nice but i'm um, not sure how much it's actually going to do not using ignis seed effect he does have that stormy mirror force samurai uh, team sam <laughs> team samurai likes to play that card now you know why that just randomness of it being able to trigger looks like he is going to go battle phase the overflow okay not used yet he's going to draw some cards um i don't like uh macro cosmos in the deck honestly I, I feel like it does a little more harm than it actually helps i I didn't like this either i didn't like him using solemn judgment here on uh the overflow because yeah you could lose the solemn judgment but i'm not willing to pay 2,000 light points when i'm already that low against a deck like cyber dragons a deck that can easily like cheese you i mean the entire deck is just do tons of damage with your machine so i'm not willing to do that i would have gladly just lost a monster or whatever but I guess it's fine. He is playing Spear Mode in the main deck. That I actually don't have a problem with Draco. Because Draco, if you go second, Spear Mode combo decks. If you go first, pop it with Diagram, no problem. So it's really not that big of a deal. He is finally activating those Ignis Heat effects. But now that he has activated them both, he can go for Cyber Dragon Infinity by way of Nova. Suck up one of those Ignis Heats pass it back to his opponent who is going to try to use the disciples i think that okay i thought it might have been you know, negated but looks like he is going to instead just negate the diagram fair enough looks like uh fossil dino going to be used and then the third copy of card of demise how do you resolve three copies of card of demise and not just completely overrun your opponent like you should be done the game should be over this is such a sick combo well not really a sick combo but a sick turn of events right so he's trying to suck up a copy of ignis heat ignis heat says i'm gonna take that he's going to negate he tries to activate second ignis heat only to be met with ghost ogre and snow rabbits and actually no it looks like he was taking up the uh or he was going to suck up the a copy of fossil dino something that can't trigger monster reborn for Nashter brings back Cyber Dragon Infinity by way of Nova so he's he's still looking really good he is going to try to debuff these monsters activates the copy of disciples which is going to just get popped or actually was that so uh, yeah that was disciples he's using heritage now drawing a ton of cards and finally he is going to end with the copy of uh dynamite knuckles so it looked like he was in the commanding position here even with less life points but just a couple of bad top decks man mystic mine and spear mode not really doing anything i don't even know what this random wall of disruption is about but his opponent is going to get that top deck that top deck cyber dragon hurts is perfect it lets him use the impermanence from his hand he has no field now he can search a cyber dragon get a galaxy soldier and maybe go for cyber dragon infinity for a what third time in this duel nope he says i'll just bring it back from the grave <laughs> brings it back from the graveyard simply attacks i don't know what the heck wall of illusion or whatever this card is going to do at this point wall of disruption excuse me yeah that's not honestly going to do anything and that is an easy gg true draco player i really felt like he was just trying to throw that game as hard as possible second duel going to be uh let's see we got guru control versus a very interesting build of cosmo that is running some true kings also got some net this cards basically just kind of destroy as many of my own cards as possible and have them activate very similar to the old version of like fire king uh cosmo so let's see how this is going to roll i think that um yeah it looks like the uh guru control Control deck is up first opens incredibly well probably man it's really hard to pass up an extravagance but maybe you go against a defensive card just to have as many defensive options as possible although maybe he felt okay because he already has 
you can say three interruptions like he has final battle which um he can flip this over and flip guru uh face down plus his opponent's monster has the solemn and the fiendish so i guess he's just looking to kind of build upon those uh disruptions with the extravagance during his next turn so flips the uh net this monster face down but he does have diagram and diagram means that he gets to press through plus having some true kings in his hand means he can activate even more monster effects plus search slip rider pops the solemn judgment that's unfortunate maybe i guess well i don't know i wouldn't have solemned a, a dragonic diagram that's a little too hasty for my taking but it's fine he's going to activate that extravagance to try to draw back some of that advantage he lost attacks the face down net this monster gets a little nice uh stat boost to get over it with the final battle then he's going to set a solemn strike i mean honestly when you look at his hand it looks so good now this is unfortunate i feel like anytime you use um a copy of ash blossom on a diagram i feel like that just shows desperation it shows you don't have an answer to the card or the plays that are coming so he is going to go ahead and use fiendish again on another monster that like he's just taking too many neg ones and he is burning through that advantage now luckily phantasma gets him a card back reapadokus going to be activated he's using some of those true kings pop slip rider pop slip rider again get a couple of kaijus or kaijus cosmos from his deck he's able to recover his advantage with the cosmos and his opponent still taking neg ones on the hand traps with the effect veiler now he is able to make some of this advantage back up with the solemn strike his opponent gets nothing out of the nightmare unicorn doesn't get a monster also how much advantage was he really going like what were you getting out of the nightmare unicorn because he has phantasma he can stop targeting anyways uh, if it was going to be against a monster it's fine though because the sword troopers are not hard once per turn so we can actually just use these guys to try to recover some advantage even going for the straw man bringing out a big monster run over phantasma or at least he tried and then archer was like nope i'm gonna use my effect or no archer his effect wasn't used there it was hidden city anyways he's going to get some attacks through but again these freaking uh cosmo monsters like if you attack them they just float and i'm not sure he actually has a reliable way of getting through all these monsters guru's going to activate puts down straw man but i feel like he's not solving the problem now he does have double disruption maybe that will be what gets him back into this game gonna flip over guru but called by the grave on the guru using solemn judgment i don't know if i would man i feel like you just have to let it you gotta let the call by the grave go your opponent's taking a neg one you're bleeding resources you have to save your solemn it's your best defensive card right now i would have saved it even if he does get a fiendus i feel like it's not worth it man so anyways you can see the Cosmo deck just reviving all of his resources because Sword Trooper not a hard once per turn. I think he is going to make True King of All Calamities in this turn. I feel like there is going to be a way where he is going to be able to do that. And Dark Eclipser might be how he does it. <laughs> Thought it would be with, true, with a couple copies of True Kings, but nope. Drops True King of All Calamities. No monster effects for anybody. Uh, at least Phantasma can still attack. Puts the, um, the, the monster face down. So at least he can have an attack stopper. But true king of all calamities now he can get his own true king from his deck tribute his opponent's monsters or really just blow them up and simply attack for game i really felt like that guru player took so many neg ones with those hand traps it was actually disgusting how he just wasted so much advantage throughout that duel and when you're playing a control deck where cards like extravagance and uh, card of demise are supposed to be huge turning points for you you can't afford to just constantly take neg ones like that that's how your opponent just easily outgrinds you and you end up losing in control of the duel anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed those duels if you did get a video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos